Hey guys, DRG Valley here. As you can see, I have the other four Hamburglar Pop Vinyl Customs focusing on the other holidays like 4th of July Burglar, Halloween Burglar, Thanksgiving Burglar, and the Christmas Burglar. And before I start this, um, I forgot to mention I made all these other holiday hamburger themed figures. I want to say a few months after I made the Ronald McDonald Hamburglar. They weren't in celebration of anything, at least I didn't really think about it like that. I just wanted to paint them like that because, well, I really like the color scheme of the Ronald, the Ronald McDonald Hamburglar. So I decided to go with the other holiday themes and I tried to make them a lot, a lot different. So if I didn't, I didn't state that before, so if anyone was wondering. And here's the first one. This is the 4th of July Burglar. Now with this one, I tried to do something different. Of course, I wanted to go with the red, white, and blue theme. And here's an example of the broken cape, as you could see. Like, it chipped, obviously. Like, pretty bad. And with the tie, I wanted it to be a different color blue instead of it being, you know, black. Because I, I believe I, I used that already. My memory isn't the best. But I like how it came out overall. The shoes I made, instead of all black, I decided to give it a gray. A black and gray look. And I gave him some yellow gloves. But overall, I like how he looks. And here is the Halloween burger. Obviously, I went with the, you know, candy corn theme. I really like this one. Since I thought of the Halloween bur theme burglar, I went with the candy corn theme. And of course, here's the broken piece of the cape, you know, noticeable on, the, on some of them. And with the hat, obviously I went with the, a jack-o'-lantern or pumpkin theme, and it's orange and green. I was going to originally do it like this, but I wanted the colors to match just like all of them. And this is blue, sorry, blue, white, blue, you know, orange, green, orange, something like that. Mm, I like how it looks overall. I used different shades of green for this outfit instead of, I was going to use purple, but I decided to go against that. It will look good either way. I don't know if you could tell, but on the shoes, especially underneath, someone noticed why I used a darker green instead of painting all black. And here is the Thanksgiving burglar, a holiday we all probably forgot about, at least I didn't. But this one I went with more like fall color schemes, like the fall, you know, like autumn colors, pretty much. This one I was really debating on doing, so I couldn't think of a proper color scheme. I was originally going to paint it black, white, and black again. Similar to how the old traditional, like the first Thanksgiving, if you want to think about it like that. But I decided to go against that and gave him more of a brown color scheme. I like how I handled it. It, look pretty, it looks good to me. And last but cer certainly not least is the Christmas Burglar. This one, well, obviously it represents Christmas. And of course I used well, the most used Christmas colors, which is red, green, and white. I know on the Right here, like the gloves look white, but they're actually not. I believe I used a different color, like I used the uh, Antique Patchman, I believe it's what it's called. I can't really remember the name, but I do remember the color, and this is not white, even though it does look white on camera. But everything else, yeah, it looks pretty good. I like how it came out either way. So I'm just going to put these back and show you the color schemes I used for each of them. For the 4th of July burger, I used flag red, obviously. You can use bright red or red apple, either one if you don't have flag red. Snow white. Bright blue. Yellow. Admiral Blue, Sunkissed Peach, 
and apricot. I forgot to mention I used pewter gray for the this part right here. I forgot I left this on the other table, so I had to go get it. For the Halloween burglar, I used pumpkin orange, jack-o'-lantern, and for the differences for pumpkin orange and jack-o'-lantern, this was pumpkin orange, these were jack-o'-lantern, like on the torso. So I used pumpkin orange for the hat and cape, and, I, and for the mask, and I used jack-o'-lantern for the whole torso. I used apricot, jet black, or black, doesn't matter, snow white, sunkissed peach, sunny day, spring green, and I also used two more greens for the tie. I used marsh green. No, not marsh green. Um, palm leaf for the tie. I used marsh green for the shoes right here. This part anyway. I just don't have them because, well, I got rid of them because, well, I didn't really... They kind of... I didn't use them anymore, so... And they were running out, so I had to get another one for those two. I just don't have them with me. For the Thanksgiving burglar, I used melted chocolate. Chestnuts, apricot, golden sunset, or you can use king's gold if you want to, if you don't have that color. Harvest orange, or you can use pumpkin orange if you don't have that one. Barn red, or Tuscan red, whichever you prefer, if you don't have that one. Light mocha, snow white, and sun kissed peach. And for the Christmas burglar, I used snow white, bright red, or you can use red apple, either one if you don't have this one. Christmas green, apricot, jet black, sun kissed peach, and this is the color I was talking about antique parchment, I believe is what it's called. I used that one for the gloves instead of using white, so I used this one instead. So now I'm going to get all the other ones, all the other hamburger customs in this one shot, hopefully. It's going to be a lot of figures. And here's every single one of them, guys. Honestly, they look very great to all together. Like, at first I was going to stop just with this one, but then I decided to do all of these because I was so, like, I was really impressed with how I did all this. Like, really, the lines were pretty difficult. I was surprised I was able to pull it off. You know, maybe I could have done a little bit better, but honestly, it looks good as it is. I mean, all these have their own flaws, don't get me wrong. Every custom will have a flaw here and there. Some minor, yeah, some major, like some of the capes broke, but I know what I was getting into the moment I decided to take these all apart, especially with the hat. And, well, I really like how all of them look. Maybe I'll do these again, maybe I won't, I don't know, but... I really like how all them, how all they look. Like really, they all look pretty damn good. But you, you guys, let me know what you think in the comments down below. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe for more. Bye.